Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is array column that is a PHP array function. So array column takes three argument. First one is array, second one is column key and third one is index key. First one is array that you will be sending. Second one is column key that column you need to be fetched from the given array. Third one is index key that is optional. Whatever value you will pass in index key that will be defined as key of the return array. So what basically array column does, it returns the value from a single column in the input array. So let's see this by example. So let's create first an input array. Write in array. Let's say ID goes to 1. First name will be having value knowledge. Then department, let's say admin. Print array column. Pass the input array as first. After that, pass the column that you want to fetch. So I'm just passing first name and also create input array a multi dimensional array so now let's go and check in browser so knowledge is coming so you can see i have just one row right now with first name i have only knowledge and it's giving me the output of first name key with knowledge value so now let's pass department as well and check refresh again okay. now you can see admin is coming so now let's create one more row so copy the same and paste change id that is one to two first name let's say thrusters after that let's keep department admin refresh again browser uh, admin admin is coming okay so department i have first now let's change it to first name refresh again so knowledge and thruster is coming right now you can see key are 0 and 1 in the output array so let's go and change that so pass third argument as id let's go and check now so if you refresh now you can see keys are changed now it's one and two so now let's change it with department as it's having both value same so let's go and refresh now you can see only one admin key is coming so now let's change to admin two and again refresh now both it's taking so make sure whatever column you are sending for index key that should have different values. So that's all for it. I'll see you in next video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.